morning everybody Anna Rebel the Lecture Pak Joko Sutopo and my beloved friends Hosus too let us thanks to God who has given us the benefit and blessing until we can do our class online today in a good condition my name is Siti Mukaroma you can call me Siti or Mukaroma I am a presenter today and the title of presentation is variability in learner language. This chapter will explore the nature of variability and its significance for identifying the factors that shape second language development. Lebov 1970 said that there are no single style speakers. It means that style shifting occurs in all speakers to a different degree. Interlocutors regularly and consistently change their linguistic forms according to context. There are three approaches for investigating variability in learner language. They are variazioni sociolinguistics, dynamic paradigm, and dynamic system theory. These three approaches differ in how they view variability. Variazioni sociolinguistics in the variation in sociolinguistics tradition, the concern is with discovering the underlying, the systematicity of variable learner production. It accounts for variability in terms of variable rules. There are two constructs in this paradigm. They are speech styles and variable rules. In speech styles, speakers vary their language to some degree in accordance with the social context and topic. Variable rules is a categorical rule states that a specific linguistic form occurs invariably in a specific context. Language users vary in the degree to which they monitor their speech in different situations. With the least attention evident in the vernacular style, vernacular style is the style associated with informal or everyday speech, and the most in the careful style, the careful style associated with formal language use as in public speech. It means that speaker style shift in accordance with situational factors, in particular with how they perceive their relationship with the person they are addressing, which affects the choice of linguistic forms. The dynamic paradigm the dynamic paradigm is used to account for learner varieties in terms of involving form function systems that characterize interlanguage development. It examines variability in terms of learner varieties. The dynamic paradigm assumes that a language variety is systemic but also dynamic and the variation is the precursor of change. In the dynamic paradigm, variation is accounted for in terms of the varieties evident in different speech communities. When linguistic form emerges in a learner's interlanguage, it appears first in one linguistic context and then spreads systematically to other contexts. A 
flow spreads through a given speech community in waves in two ways. First, the rule manifests itself in the variety of one group may have introduced a new rule which exists in competition with the first rule, resulting in variation. Learners manifest free variation in the use of the linguistic forms at their disposal at some points in their development. Second, the spread of new rule is influenced by the linguistic environment, with the same environment favoring the application of the new feature. Learners construct from function system in the process of learning and using a second language. The systems are likely to differ from the form function systems found in the target language. Dynamic Systems Theory Dynamic System Theory or DSD views variation as inherent in language systems. It examines variability within a general theory of change and development. In Dynamic System Theory, change is viewed as constant variation as largely chaotic and unpredictable. It examines how the interaction of a whole range of external and internal forces contributes to L2 development in individual learners. The key tenet of this theory is that L2 development is embodied and situated. Embodied means Cognition is not bounded within the individual, but also societally constructed. Situated means cognitive functions can only be understood in terms of the particular setting in which they were carried out. Two assumptions of DSD that are relevant to interlanguage variation. They are variation in chaotic and attractor states. Chaotic variation is variation that is impossible to predict. An attractor state is defined as the state system prefers to be in over other states at a particular point in time. Although change is constant, systems may temporarily settle into attractor states that are relatively stable. Those two characteristics are helpful for understanding two key aspects of interlanguage variation, they are free variation and systemic variation. Conclusion Change is the only the temporal consequence of current variation. This is evident in a number of ways. Linguistic forms may appear initially in one style, for example, the careful style, and then subsequently spread to another style, for example, the vernacular style. Linguistic forms may only be supplied in one linguistic context initially, but then spread to other linguistic contexts over time. Pattern of variability changes as learners construct and then reconstruct their form function systems as new forms enter their repertoire. Gothic variation can give way to more systemic variation as learners enter an attractor state, which may in turn constitute transitional point allowing for further development. I think that's all my presentation. I ask apologies if there is a mistake from me from me and good luck in your study 
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.